morning skincare on this scary face. We're into that right now. Hi friends, thought I would share with you my AM skincare routine. We are going to be going through the whole entire thing and I hope that you do enjoy seeing the steps I do and the products that I use. If you're new to my channel, a special welcome to you. I don't normally look this scary, but I wanted you to see what the skin looks like without any paint on it. And we are very happy to have you. Hope that you do decide to subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and if you're everyone would please give me a thumbs up that does help my channel out very much and if you've been with me a long time i appreciate you very very much for being longtime supporters of my channel thank you all right let's get into this skincare in the morning for the morning i really enjoy using a glycolic cleanser because the glycolic acid in this will help to loosen any dead skin you have and so that is my first step i go in with that and i just use one pump and I just completely cover my face with it. And yes, I even go around the eyes a little bit. Try not to get it in the eye, that would be bad. But and then I just use a warm washcloth to wash everything off. And in between here, I will stop and I will go splash my face with water. The reason that I like using a washcloth is because it has a little bit of that exfoliating property in it. Now, you might like to have a separate exfoliating product I usually use a chemical uh, peel product, the AHA product from The Ordinary, and I use that uh, maybe once a week. But when I feel like my skin needs to be revitalized and the extra skin is left off of it, I'll use the Simply Beautiful Micro Polish, and hopefully you guys will be able to see that. It is a product that is clay-like, so you just scoop out a tiny bit, a little bit goes a very long way. It has micro granules, granules in there, and and it just will buff out your skin really well. A lot of people don't like using a um, physical exfoliant, which is what this is. They prefer a chemical one. And if you do, the um, Ordinary is really good for their AHA, BHA. And I'll make sure that I list that down below as well. Okay, so my face has been splashed with water. I leave it quite damp and I go on to my essence. And the first essence that I use, or toner it is, is from Good Molecules. And this is the, the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. This has alpha arbutin in it. It has licorice root, all things, and of course the niacinamide, all things that have been known to actually brighten the skin. I don't use any sort, excuse the laundry dinging in the background, playing a tune. I don't use any sort of pad. I like to keep all of the product and just pat it in with my hands. I go clear up around my eyes and make sure that every single part gets covered with it and down the decollete all the way down and then whatever's left over i put on the back of my hands and fingers and if you're wondering what's going on with my hand i got a little story for you so you all know i have ollie he's my five month old puppy um, there's a cut right there and then my hands kind of chewed up Ollie got a bone the other night and um, he's had these kinds of bones before plenty of times and not had any problems with them whatsoever. Well, he took a bone like this long and that thick and he tried to swallow it. And I had to reach down in his throat and he thought that I was just, you know, being mean, trying to do something that he didn't want to. And he clamped down on me as I was trying to get that. And fortunately, me putting my finger down there made him gag and it just came out. But I got pretty marred up in the process. <laughs> so that's my little story about my hand. That's a mama's love to go down and chomp and teeth. He did lose a baby tooth with it, but so I think I was more scared than he was. And yeah, it was quite the traumatic experience. All right, I'm gonna move on with, again, Simply Beautiful. By the way, I was sent this micro polish and this vitamin A serum from Simply Beautiful. I have been using vitamin A serum, not necessarily this one, I think it's an okay one. I have a couple others that I like a little bit better, which I will link below, but I've been using a vitamin A serum every morning and every night, no matter what, in order to boost the tretinoin or the retin A tube that I actually do use, just so you know that. So I use a couple of pumps of this, and again, I just use this all over my face. And pay attention to the areas where you have the most wrinkles. Mine is around my forehead, across my neck, and my lip and then i'll just take whatever's extra and spread it around now no one gasp because somebody's gonna say you can't use vitamin c with retin-a 
that's not exactly true. If you have read any of the articles, which I will link the articles down below, you can use them together. They're actually two vitamins that work in tandem with each other and vitamin E, and they are excellent for the skin. They actually work synergistically and boost each other up. And I have never had any problems with that. So I just feel like it's important to go ahead and use my vitamin C. And by the way, this is an essence. This again, um, I can't, this is the Hadalabo company, but it's the parent company. I'll make sure that I put it up here on the screen. This is a huge thing of the vitamin C. Sometimes you can find this on Amazon. Sometimes you can only find it in a pack of two or three, but it's still quite inexpensive. And this bottle lasts me a really long time. So again, I just put it into my hand, poured a little bit in there, and I'm just patting it across my face and up the neck, decollete, and then whatever's left over is gonna go on the back of the hands. The I next step to kind of lock all those things in and the moisture is my Suko Yokosu Hara, and I'm almost out here. This is my um, urea essence. And again, I will state for the record that urea, yes, it is a byproduct of urine in every mammal on the planet. However, this is manufactured in a lab. It is not anything to do with real urine. It just has the same properties, which is super duper hydrating. And it is fabulous. It is wonderful wonderful for being able to hydrate and keep you hydrated all day. Now, if you use it underneath another moisturizer, you're going to have just a huge boost of moisture. So if you're a dry skin gal like I am, that might be just exactly what you need. I love these products. And then I go in with their eye cream to make sure that my eyes are hyper moisturized. Underneath my eyes is where I get the worst, and I do mean the worst, dryness. I have deep crevices down there and it's just Saharan dry. And so I use this, I actually put this around the top of my lips. And if I feel like I've possibly gotten too much, I will just go up into my forehead with my 11s because that gets very, very dry throughout the day as well. And normally, you know, I would be waiting in between these just a minute or two to let everything sink in a little bit. But for the sake of this video, I am moving on. The last thing that I'm gonna put on here is from Radiant Soul. This is the Brightening Moisture Cream. This again is from iHerb. They sent those three products to me. No, this is not sponsored, but they did send these to me and right now they're in my rotation. But this cream right here is a good cream. It's a really, really good cream. It is thick enough that during the day, I don't feel like I'm gonna lose my moisture. It's just awesome. And it keeps me moisturized under my makeup. It plays so well with my foundations and it's just a beautiful, beautiful cream. I really like it. This cream has in it niacinamide, shea butter, and adenosine. And if you know anything about adenosine, it is used for heart troubles, but added to a cream like this, it is known to smooth the skin and brighten the skin as well. So this is a very brightening cream in addition to all the other brightening products that I used this morning, especially the toner from Good Molecules, the niacinamide toner, and the vitamin C. And this is just, it's a lovely cream, and I should show you up close a little bit better about how thick it is. See how thick that is? It's like really nice. So if you have oily combination skin, you might not like this as well as I do. Now, as a last step, of course, we all do sunscreen, and I let all of that sit in before I go in with my sunscreen, so I'll give it about five minutes before I go in with that final step, and I have been using right now um, the Tinted Moisture with an SPF of 46 from Dermatology, and I think this is great for specifically me because I don't, I'm not out in the sun a lot, so I don't need a lot of extra extra SPF, although I want to be protected even if I'm in the house. So I will use two pumps of this and I will make sure that I get every single solitary spot. This is just for my face. Those two pumps are just for my face. I'm going to use another pump for my neck and my chest, but I want this face to be super duper protected. So I go over it with all of that. And then I'm gonna go onto the back of my hands with the extra and up the arms. Now I do use a different SPF on my arms and my hands during the day, but if I put something like this on, it just gives that extra. So one more pump 
for the chest and the neck. I pay extra attention to my chest because that's exactly where the sun hits us. And oh, don't forget to go around the back of your neck and don't forget to go over the top of your ears. Very important. Our ears can show our age as well as our face, especially to our hairdressers and they know all our secrets. So we have to be careful. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing my morning skincare routine. I will list all of the steps down below and all of the products that I used in those steps so that you know it's easy when you have a one, two, three guide to go through. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Now, I know that you guys have your own routines and I always appreciate knowing what you use as well. I'm always on the hunt for the next best SPF. So if any of you know of a really great SPF, please let me know about that. And a vitamin A serum. I do have a couple that I love. This one is okay. It's not one that I think I will repurchase, just so you know. It's just one that I'm using up in order to give a review for the company. It's all right. It's not the best one I've ever used though. And I wanted to make sure I let you know that. So stay happy, stay healthy, stay sanitized, stay safe out there in this weird world that we're in. I love you all very much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye friends.